I hail from, uh, from Newark, New Jersey. I'm the son of a, uh, a Cuban immigrant who opened up a business here years ago and uh, turned a deli into a restaurant, into a catering business, and told the above. And um, was able to send me to, a, uh, to Cornell Hotel School, upstate New York, where I met, um, I met a restaurateur by the name of Lydia Bastianich. Now, Lydia Bastianich is the mother of Joe Bastianich, uh, for those that you may be aware. Her, um, who's now partnered with Mario Batali, who own B&B and the Babo restaurants. They, you know, I, I was able to cut my teeth in the New York restaurant scene there uh, when I got out of college in around 19, uh, 1992 and opened up a restaurant called Becco on 46th Street, 28th and 9th, which turned out to be a smash hit. Um, soon thereafter, you know, working with the Italian concepts, went and uh, met the, the two owners, the two principals of the Tau Group. Uh, those names are Mark Packer and Rich Wolf. Um, that was about 17 years ago, uh, about 25 restaurants and five nightclubs later. Uh, we do, for those of you who don't know, do very large volume, um, one of the highest grossing restaurant groups in the world. Uh, we just, we just um, merged with Madison Square Garden networks. We took out a controlling stake in our company. Um, that happened maybe about a month ago. You know, what I do and how it applies to what's being represented here, you know, the whole farm to table aspect of the business raised the bar for everybody. Everybody wants fresh foods, everybody wants new specialty goods. They all want those types of concepts. And um, our challenge is that we wanted um, we need to go to local markets and local farmers and produce on a massive scale, which is very, very difficult for us because we do the, the, the amount of um, the amount of guests that we have on a daily business on a daily on a, on a uh, every single day is, is huge. And they can't people just generally can't keep up with the size of our businesses. Um, but that's been, that's been the local trend. We also do something uh, what we call Vibe Dining. You'll go and you'll see a, you'll see a DJ in one of our restaurants. Um, you'll see a scene that's created within our restaurants. And we build that, but it all comes down to taking care of the guests and taking care of and giving them what they want. Um, we have grown nationally and now internationally. Um, and um, the, 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 if anyone has any questions later on about what exactly we do in the concerts that we have, I would, love to, I would love to hear them. But we have now grown from the Vegas marketplace to, we started in New York City, then went to Vegas and opened up all the units here. And then we just opened up several units in LA um, on Selma and Coenga, which are, um, there's a, there's a Tao restaurant, a Beauty in Essex, an Avenue, and a Dream Hotel. Probably about 80,000 square feet in total. Um, we, next on our plate, we're about to go to Chicago and open up a uh, 60,000 square foot Tao uh, in a landmark building in, at the, uh, on the outskirts of Chicago, uh, which should happen around 2018. Singapore. We're going to open up a Lavo and a Tao concept in Marina Bay Sands in 2018 as well. Um, the current, listen, to, to get back to the current food trends for us, farm to table, unique products, the volume of business. A lot of which kind of contradicts what happens here because we want, we want these goods but on a massive scale, which are very, very hard to get. Um, and, but this is where it all begins. This is where it all starts. Um, I am um, proud to be part of the show. I'm glad I could come by and speak. Uh, we, have a, um, we have a cocktail party afterwards from 5 to 8 at Lava uh, for anyone who would like to attend. Any new trends for the restaurant? You know, it's um, labor costs rising. Everyone's trying to reinvent the labor, the labor model. Um, we have... It's very different for us. We'll have more labor than, than, than the average restaurant. Um,
But in terms of the trends with, with labor, it's a lot more self-serve. Um, maybe they won't have any servers who go up to a bar and order, and order product. Um, for us, the farm to table, the, the specialty items, um, a huge menu. The menu gets bigger and bigger, not smaller and smaller. Everybody wants to see everything they possibly can, uh, which is hard to balance for someone like us. Uh, and you need a bigger kitchen, you need more labor to, 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 to execute it. Um, but the people are more price sensitive. So I would say trends-wise, the biggest ones, aside from labor, is high quality at a very low price and a healthy option. You know, for example, we open up in LA and our menu is less, a lot less saucy in terms of dishes, a lot less fried items, a lot less sugar in certain dishes. Um, that's what everybody wants. And that's what the new menu in LA is being rolled out. It also is LA, California's different, different clientele. Uh, but we try to provide the same products in every city but now we're going to provide healthier, healthier options on the menu.